Good morning. Apologies if you heard me clearing my throat then. Um, welcome to Tuesday morning prayer. Um, again, in the dining room, I suppose this thing is. Um, it's a bit brighter in here. Uh, and me and my civvies, because uh, it's eight o'clock, so I'm, uh, I'm doing some of my other job today. When I woke up this morning, um, the sky was really blue. Um, it was quite dramatically blue, actually. Um, but only an hour and a half, two hours later, it's, it's gone a bit grey and over, overcast. Um, apparently, it's going to get blue again. And then this afternoon, it's going to cloud over and it is going to rain. Um, typical English summer's day, I think we'd uh, call it. Um, I find it difficult to call it summer at the moment. It hasn't felt like summer. It's all very strange at the moment. But it is one of those good metaphors, isn't it? It's one of those good metaphors for our journey through life. Um, not always blue skies, not always blue skies. And um, even if we're Christian, even if we're Christian, we don't always have blue sky days. In our reading um, that I'm going to come to shortly, uh, Jesus tells a parable um, about our need to pray but never lose heart. Pray and never lose heart. I was speaking to a friend of mine this week um, and we both agreed um, that we wished COVID-19 had never ever happened. It's caused us real problems. Um, for, for, for her, it means that it, it's been a real slog. Um, but at least she said it meant that I've been able to spend a bit more time with my family, which I don't normally do. Um, it also gave her the opportunity to volunteer at a food shelter, a food bank. Um, again, something that they'd always wanted to do, but they would never normally have the time to do. Um, and we both agreed, we've been both looking at studies about prayer and, and faith, and it was really good that, that actually the studies that have come in are suggesting that a lot of people are turning back to church, even though they can't attend church physically, um, prayer sites and prayer request lines and things like um, uh, online services and things like this are so well attended at the moment. Um, and again, that was something that was very encouraging. It was also very good, we both agreed that it was really good that actually people have thanked the NHS, something that the community never normally get a chance to do. So we don't know, we, we don't know um, why things happen um, that we may not want them to. It's, it's just part of being life, it's part of a fallen world, depending on where you are theologically. Um, but something that you can never take away is, is, is that sense of Jesus in your life, to grow in our relationship with God and with Jesus. And so life, life at times is hard, but never lose heart and keep praying. Faith is fantastic. Faith gives us a place for the weary. It gives us peace for those in turmoil. It gives satisfaction for those who hope, reward for those who strive to help others. And it gives us that place of love and tranquility. And that's definitely, definitely a reason on this Tuesday, this great Tuesday at the moment, never ever to lose heart. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. And hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, and according to your judgment, give us life. For the night has passed and the day lies open before us. And so let us pray with one heart and with one mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O Lord, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so our readings today. Signal allowing. Um, first, a reading is Psalm 89, or from Psalm 89, I beg your pardon. 
My song shall always be of the loving kindness of God. With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness throughout all generations. I will declare that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness as firm as the heavens. For you said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David my servant. Your seed will I establish forever and build up your throne for all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who among the clouds can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the host of heavens? A God feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible above all those around him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? Mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea. You still its waves when they arise. And our second reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 18, beginning at verse 1. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, Grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused. But later he said to himself, Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice, so that she may not wear me out continually by coming here. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust, uh, sorry, the unjust judge says. And will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man who went down to his home justified rather than the other, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let's spend some time in prayer. And so, Heavenly Father, we come before you today with our prayers, knowing that you hear each one of us, that you would help each one of us, and that you would guide each one of us. Heavenly Father, we begin in prayer to pray for all those who have died recently from the coronavirus. Lord, we cannot begin to understand why this thing has come upon us. But Lord, we pray for all the many, many thousands of people in this country and the world who have passed away. Lord, we ask you to open the gates of your kingdom where sins have been forgiven and where death is no more. We pray for their families and friends and colleagues. And Lord, we just ask that you bless them with your peace. We pray too for all those who are currently ill, and we ask you to bring about full healing. Again, for the anxiety and friends of their colleagues, family, Lord, we just pray for them. We pray your peace. Pray too for those in isolation. 
Lord, for people who feel too nervous, too concerned to leave their properties at the moment. Those who do leave but are still very worried and anxious. And so, Lord, we pray your blessing upon them. Lord, we pray your comfort upon them. And Lord, we pray your protection upon them. We pray for all those who shoulder our burden on a still daily basis. Those in hospitals, care homes, hospices, ambulance drivers and air ambulance, the police and the armed forces, and for an army of key workers still working in the most awkward and difficult situations. We pray for those still returning to work, children returning to school, and teenagers and young adults preparing to go to college and university. In a moment of silence, Bring before the Lord the names of those people that you know yourselves that have been affected. Father God, we pray for our world. Lord, for so many illnesses that sit outside the COVID-19 and yet still affect people in exactly the same way. Lord, may we never downgrade their suffering because it's not something that's on the news. Lord, we pray for family and friends who grieve Lord, for many people who suffer injustice, poverty, hunger, war, disease. Lord, places like Africa, the Middle East, parts of South America. But also, Lord, closer to home. People in our own country as well, Lord, that suffer poverty, homelessness. People who suffer a lack of faith and hope and love. Lord, the world keeps turning. Lord, the world suffered before COVID-19, but continued to suffer during and will continue to suffer long after. Lord, we pray again for so many charities just covering a huge sway of all of our problems, Lord. Health problems, mental health problems, poverty. Lord, so, so many charities that look after so many spheres of our lives that are currently suffering because their income streams have gone, and their volunteer base is down. And so, Lord, we pray. Lord, we pray that you're with each one. We all have situations in the world which are close to our own hearts for so many reasons. So just bring them before the Lord now. Finally, Lord, we bring you our thanks. Lord, we thank you for roofs over our heads, food in our mouths. Lord, for so many things that we take for granted. Lord, we thank you 
for blue skies and grey skies. Lord, for the beauty of this world that's before our eyes each day. For butterflies and birdsong. Lord, for children's laughter. Lord, all the blessing. And so, Lord, we thank you. Lord, that you're there for us. Lord, that you care so much. And Lord, in you, when we pray, we find heart. And so, almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you brought us safely to the beginning of this new day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do only what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A moment of silence. Just bring before something, something before the Lord that you're thankful for today. in the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Apologies, doing the, uh, doing the prayers there, the cat decided to join me and he's shuffling about and any second there he may knock the, uh, the frame that's holding the phone. So if the uh, telephone falls to the floor and, uh, and you suddenly see a picture of the table, um, apologies, it was the cat. Um, have a fantastic Tuesday. Um, it's, a, it's a busy day for me, but I'm available if anyone needs me. Please feel um, free to call or send me messages and I will get back to you. Um, thank you for a couple of people who asked for prayers yesterday. Sorry, I'm looking at the cat and he's about to knock the uh, throne. Um, thank you for the people who sent the prayers. Um, the, the, the second you thought of them, know your prayers were answered. But, you know, obviously I'm delighted to receive them. Um, and we can, you know, share in this journey of faith together. Um, I had some meeting yesterday uh, about opening the church. And I'm making plans and hopefully I will come back to you very, very shortly. Um, about what we intend to do. Um, it's, it's moving in, in the right direction. So if you leave me to uh, percolate my, my, my thoughts for, for a bit longer and I will get back to you. Um, I will be, some, a couple of people have asked, will we continue, if the church opens, will we continue to do um, live um, streamed prayer and prayer that stays on Facebook and YouTube? Um, yes, we will. Um, I, I pray anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to do it in this form um, because it's nice to know that there are people praying uh, praying along with you. With two or three are gathered together, um, there is Jesus in the midst of us. So uh, that's that's a very good thing. No other news to share except have a fantastic day. I've just noticed that the sun has broken through. I told you it would. See, blue sky, grey sky, blue sky, and then uh, expect some lovely rain later. No thunder today, but hey, can't have everything. Um, let's finish with a blessing. And so the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through this storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a brilliant, brilliant Tuesday, guys. Thank you.